Hey everybody, Captain Cody Hankins here, out in the Gulf of Mexico. We're about to get started fishing, see if we can't bring home some mingos. Y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll show you some fish. I come and go like a ride, ride, ride. They don't want the two be going nah, nah, nah. I'm coming back with the money in the bag. The rule is in my lap, yeah, I'm running for the cash. I come and go like a ride. All right, we're dropping down. We're in the, trying to get into the mingos. We got Joe. What's up, man? How's it, Joe? <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Matt. Got Matt, and then uh, we got Cletus operating the boat today. But we're out here checking into the Mingos, and we got some fish coming up. See what we got. And y'all from Chicago, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. Can't lose it on camera now. Oh yeah, Mingo, little perch. As you can see, we got some already on the floor. Another one coming up there. And when the bite's good, this is how it works. At least that's in the boat. All right, we're gonna make a drop right here. You just drop down. See how fast he can get hooked up. No pressure on you, Matt. <laughs> got another one on up there. All right, we just got tight. And there's the bite. Perfect. Nice job. One coming up here. And nice mingo over there. Got one coming up here. We are smoking them. <laughs> when it's good, it's like this. Man. Some days we struggle. There we go. We got a twofer. Nice. Heck yeah. All right, we just caught this fish in. And Mingo's or Vermilion Snapper in the state of Florida have to be 10 inches. As you see, Cletus is measuring this one. Whoop, well. Their nose against the front, and as long as their tail goes past 10, as you can see, he's good. Uh, yeah, too small. Chunking back. You toss them back, and away they go. Got a little, little, little perch. Another mingo. And let's see if he's legal. Yeah, a little close. Right at it. Yeah. We'll throw him back. We're not greedy out here. <laughs> yeah, he the one has actually never caught a fish. And he's like, I don't know, what are you, seven fish so far? <laughs> there you go. Nice. All right, give me two pieces of squid. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Show y'all. We just have a little chicken rig tied up. It's just two hooks coming off. I had the little squid skirts on there and little beads. It tends to work better. But all you're gonna do. Make it stop sometimes. Add a little piece of squid on. As y'all can see, just a little small piece of squid. Nothing crazy. stops we'll flip this over get it tight it's a nice one let's keep it once it stops just get it tight and you're watching for just a rod to just do little small taps nothing crazy and that's a bite just like that so these vermilion snappers, you want to keep them nice, steady, real, real soft mouth, and they uh, very easy to pull the hook on them. So stay real smooth, let the rod yeah, tip do the work. And 
as you can see. They're both short, but two mingos. That's how we this. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, getting a bite. And there we go. Fish on. And yeah, a little one coming up over here. Well, let's see if we can't start putting some of these in the ice. Overrunning our means here. Get all of them in the ice box. Oop, there's a little guy. How'd he end up in here? Oop, not you. This guy, some people call it sand perch, call them gulf perch. Really good eating, so. Little baby. Just gotta get them big enough to eat. White snapper, bingos. More mingos. Another perch and a mingo. Is this a big setup with two uh, hooks? Chicken it's called a chicken rig. Some people call it a double hook rig, some people call it a loop rig. Uh, Chicken rig, that sounds way better. Yeah. All kinds of different names. Very pretty fish. White snapper. True name red porgy. I think it might have turned a little It gets to the point where uh, we catch them better not holding the reel. <laughs> Rodan putting in work today. Holding us right where we need to be. We ate, we ate these raw the other day. This? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is this? Oh, was that what you were mentioning, mm -hmm. Cody? Yeah, we had a group of Asian people that were uh, from Korea, uh, I don't know, two or three days ago. And uh, they brought some kind of special sauce they eat with sashimi. And, uh, yeah, the raw pieces just sliced up. Yeah, yeah, we cut up that white snapper and it was amazing. I'll show you a video. I was we were playing with sharks and eating raw fish at the same time. Yeah, that sounds like just that sounds phenomenal. That's awesome. Yeah, that was an absolutely epic sentence. Yeah, I put all my snaps there. Everybody put up. That is so sick. Still got big marks here. Lots of mingos. Every time it's like, oh, weeding. this feels like a bigger one, you know, and it's like a little bit. Weeding guy. through the little guys, but uh, we're getting them. They're here. I'll have a, what is the one? A, 10, 10 piece. It'll be 30. Very, very, I, I would say less than 10% of the time that we limit out on a four hour trip. Yeah, it's we're just bag It's rare. Yeah, y'all are not the not the biggest of fish, but they're right in the boil. All right. Let's get this thing going. Oh, we just do a smack in the fish, but you were already thinking, but I was like, we are done. That is a three man limit of 30 vermilion snapper. So we're about to get ready to uh, probably go see if we can do something else. But anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed being out here with us and seeing how the mingos work. Uh, as you can see, this doesn't always happen on our four hour trips. You know, we don't, we don't always limit out on them, but when, when it's hot, you know we're on them so hope all y'all enjoyed this video and uh stick around with us and wait for the next one to come out so cletus gonna carry us back to the dock and uh y'all see him a buddy of mine down here runs uh charter company 
Cletus is gonna be a new captain for him this year. And uh, so if, give me a call and if y'all can't get out with me, then uh, I got a couple friends down here that do the same thing I do. So y'all let us know, give us a call and take a check out on Facebook, Instagram, obviously YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see y'all later. All right guys, got our limit and uh, we're gonna head back. Everybody strapped in, rods up. Show y'all real quick. We are loaded out, 30 snappers, three man limit, and we are ready to roll. So, we'll ride back and uh, we'll see you. But uh, for a day of training, Cletus didn't do too bad. Still got the ride in though. So, all right, we'll catch y'all back to the dock. We'll get these laid up and then uh, we'll show y'all what it looks like after it's all finished. Hang tight and enjoy the ride. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the. We just pulled back up at the dock. I'm gonna get the fish unloaded and get started cleaning. Cold fingers. What's up, Barry? I thought there was Jerry's little key, that's why. I'm getting worried about you. Mingos. Oh yeah, they make nice tacos for y'all. Oh, yeah. uh, old Fred down there. All right, we got our Danco here. I'll show y'all real quick how to fillet one of these mingos, and we're gonna get out of here. We'll go right in behind the peck fin. Come up at an angle through the head. Go out to the belly, and you can do it this way. Follow those rib bones up the way you flay every fish. Go out, off the tail. show y'all the other way the way we do it it's a lot faster <laughs> <laughs> 